Hey guys, it's Sarah Ayler from softlexcompany.com and we are going to be opening the Lakeside Design Kit today. I uh, haven't opened mine yet. Kristen opened hers at the Great Beat Extravaganza event last weekend. And so I'm going to uh, open it up and uh, we are going to take a look. I'm going to make something with it today and um, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So I'm excited to check it out. It is sold out, but yesterday in the warehouse, I found a few, I found a few of the mixes that are in the kit uh, were still available. They didn't have a full kit. So they had these extras and they had kind of just set them aside in a tray that I found. Um, they had extras of the mix, the check glass speed mix, not many, a few. And then also the little rondelles uh, that you're going to see are inside the kit, or maybe you got them because you got the kit. We had some extras of those two, not many again, I'd say maybe eight of each color. Um, but I talked everyone into adding them on the website today so that uh, you could purchase them if you want to today. Um, I see you're starting to join me. Hi, Gail. Hi, Teresa. Hey, Kristen. So nice to see all of you guys here. Hi, Molly um, and Brenda. So nice to see everybody joining me. Um, and I'm just going to chit chat here at the beginning while everyone is jumping on this live video. And then um, we will get going uh, right after that with opening the kit and taking a look at some of our new summer uh, vacation collection items, uh, which are all on sale uh, starting today. We are doing 20% off the entire category. That includes all of the items that we used at the Great Beat Extravaganza, magical crimping pliers. I think it might include crimps. Uh, maybe Kristen can uh, verify that clasps, there's ear wires in there, and then all of the beads from the summer collection, uh, summer vacation collection, and then even some of the things from our previous Great Beat Extravaganza uh, presentations too. No coupon necessary, it's all just 20% off. Um, right before this, I was rushing around, my husband was in a meeting, and so I couldn't grab any jewelry from my uh, my jewelry cabinet in, in my bedroom because that's where his desk is. And so I thought, oh, I'll just make myself something to wear, to wear today. So I grabbed one of our new beet mixes. Uh, I think it's called Blue, the Lakeside Blueberry Pie. And I made this necklace in two parts uh, as Instagram Reels. So after the show, if you want to go learn how to make this necklace, it's already posted on uh, Instagram Reels. I didn't show the earrings, um, but I did make a fun little pair of earrings. These are all from that same bead mix. I only used beads from the one bead mix, and the tassels came from the bead mix, too. Thank you, Kim. That's so nice to hear. Let me post that up here. Oh, you look so pretty today. It must be the new jewelry. I just, it's just making me glow. And maybe a little bit of rest because Great Beat Extravaganza is over. <laughs> that was a lot of work this year. And since we had um, takeover on Monday, preview on Friday, and, and then our presentation on Saturday, and then I watched most of the other presentations live. So was a it was wonderful but it was a lot of work last week um oh good gail thank you gail says i was just gonna say that i like your jewelry today yeah i've got new jewels on um that's the best part about being a, a jewelry maker is you don't have something for your outfit you just make something right i mean that's the most wonderful thing um, Kristen saying, T oh, where did I get miss it? TGBE was cray cray. Yeah, it was, it was wonderful, but we did a lot of, of work behind the scenes, uh, last week. So it's so nice to see all of you guys. So listen, I've got a surprise with those bead mixes and the rondelles that I told you about that I found in a tray when I was at the warehouse yesterday. I also found 
a almost complete lakeside design kit. This was mine, but there's another one at the office. It was just missing one part, one part. And so I'm gonna take that part uh, from my kit and I'm gonna give it to the other kit and we're gonna give it away. And so sometime at the end of this video, I am going to give away a lakeside, a full lakeside design kit, the very last one in the world because um, they are sold out. And I'm going to give it to someone who has been commenting, liking and sharing this video. And I'm going to have Thomas pick the winner at random at the very end of the video. But you must be present to win because it's really fun to be able to tell someone they want in person. So you got to stick around to the end to win your very own Lakeside Design Kit. Other giveaways that are going on. We've got the TGBE giveaway is still open. If you go to the Great Beat Extravaganza Facebook group, look for the giveaway image. I think it's in the announcements. Uh, maybe Kristen can agree with that too because I think she just posted it. Um, go make sure you click through the image, put in your email. That's pretty much all it asks for. And that enters you to win a grand prize that can three. There's three grand prizes. They're all similar, but they all contain materials from um, most of the present presenters from the show. So it's a huge gift bag, huge, just for your email. So not much, not much of a give there. And then last, we have a giveaway going on on our Instagram. We're really close to hitting the 10,000 follower mark. We're trying really hard to get there as quickly as possible because it can unlock some new features for us on that platform. So we've got a giveaway. You'll have to look in the highlighted stories, click on giveaway, and then it'll take you to the post and then follow the instructions there in order to uh, enter to win that giveaway. And that will be several $25 uh, store credits from Softflex Company. And um, if the more entries we get, the more of those $25 store credits we'll give out. Okay, I think I covered a lot of stuff. Let's flip over to my hand cam over here. Hey, Catherine, thanks for joining us. I was just telling everyone about how I'm going to give away a whole lakeside design kit that I found yesterday. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Diane says she loves my necklace heading over the site to look for the bead kit. Uh, you can find the bead mix, but the bead kit is sold out. We do have a brand new this month uh, bead kit. This is our Be Kind design kit. So when I open the Lakeside design kit today, you'll find that it's going to be similar. This one will be similar to what you see today, in, but in a different um, color palette and a different theme. Um, so it's going to have some different components in it uh, that are really special and obviously be related. Um, we have a few of those left. The, the reveal for that will be the last Wednesday of the month. So quick review. Here is what I made at the great bead extravaganza. If you were able to join me, thank you for being there. I uh, used our new carrier beads and then I used some beautiful 12 millimeter vintage Chuck crystals that we have available in our shop. I used some Tierra cast as well. And I uh, crimped some soft flex beading wire to make like a pretty neat pattern. And then added our new uh, tear cast succulent charms on the back end. So I made it in three different colorways um, and they all turned out really, really great. I'm really smitten with the purple and the turquoise which was a color palette that our VIB group uh, picked out for me to use as my sample. It turned out really, really good. Oh, good. Kimberly says, love, love, love this design and great colorways. I know, Monica. I love the carrier beads too. There was a little bit of a question about how many carrier beads go are in every uh, package. And there are 15 in a package. 
if you go to order them. So it may look or it may feel like there's only one. I added quantity 15 to the name end of it. So hopefully that makes it a little bit more clear. And let's see what Brenda's saying. Want to make some of those bracelets when I get my order? Y'all are keep really keeping me busy. Oh, that's great to hear. Busy is good, right? Busy is good. I also made these on uh, Instagram Reels last weekend. So I was going to show those to you. And they're just a cute little uh, succulent charm earring with that same crystal. And then I just crimped on both ends of the crystal. I thought these turned out really, really lovely. That really soft fluorite color and the soft flex goes so well with these cute little succulents. I mean, I think they're just really, really adorable. So you can find this uh, project. It's a 30 second reel. So you just watch it. It's like one of those fast forward uh, how to videos. Sometimes you'll see them for cooking like a recipe. Um, there's one of those there on the soft flex Instagram page as well. Okay, so let's get into it. We're going to open up our Lakeside Design Kit. A lot of what you're seeing here are the new items that were added last week. We have a great new trio, which is like flying out the door, which I can't really blame you guys because it's so pretty. It's the dark blue lapis, the fluorite, and the turquoise together. And I'm not quite sure why... We didn't put this trio together sooner because these are such fantastic colors in one grouping. So that was definitely one of those aha moments when we put them together uh, to match this design kit. We were like, oh, what, why haven't we done this sooner? It's so lovely. So I'm gonna move some of this stuff just out of the way quickly. We've got some new check glass. These were selling like crazy too um, over the weekend. We've got our Be Kind bead strands still available. Some little double pyramids that are fun. Some spikes, which I used last week. I'm just going to move it all back and kind of out of here. And then our carrier beads we have available in uh, six colors. So you can get those carrier beads that I used in my demonstration. We also have the mixes. This is the mix that I used for my necklace and my earrings. And you can see I used about half of it. There's still quite a bit left. There aren't many of these left. These sold very quickly. So I, I know there's under 10. I'm pretty sure of each of these colors. So if you wanted one of those, grab it quick. All right, let's start opening this up. So we do design kits every month. If you're not familiar um, with Softflex, we do a different theme every month. And then sometimes we do them for special events. And we had a special event last weekend called the Great Beat Extravaganza. And so I... Um, Kristen and I put together this beautiful little kit called the Lakeside Design Kit because the theme of our feed extravaganza is, was Midsummer Market. And so we thought it would be fun to do a theme of like being by the lake um, and that summer feeling of blues and greens and, you know, just really kind of enjoying yourself. So that's where this came from, and uh, we had such a fun time putting it together, and I think we found some really, really lovely things to get into this kit. So we're going to take a look at everything in the kit, and then we're going to make something uh, today on the spot with some of the materials in the kit. And uh, this kit is no longer available, like I said earlier, but we do have new kits coming out every month. This is the one that's available right now, Be Kind. We're also going to have a customer appreciation kit for a big event coming out next week. So um, there will be that kit coming up too. It will be a limited quantity, more so than our um, design kits. We make quite a few of our design kits now to try to make it 
through the whole month and uh, have them available when I reveal them at the end of the month. But the customer appreciation kit will be a more, much, much more limited. Okay, so in this kit, we had a glass bead mix. This is a Czech glass bead mix um, and really, really beautiful. We have some of these available as of today on the website. I think we had a dozen at the most. Um, and each one is gonna be different and unusual. They are scoops of beads, um, not full on packages. I do feel like the mixes that are online are just a tad bit smaller than this. This is a pretty big mix. So some of them might be just a tiny bit, like I'd say more like that many beads. So a touch smaller, um, but every mix will be individual because it is a scoop, but it will be in this colorway. So it will have some blues and greens, some clears, um, it may or may not have this big round crystal -y bead here. Um, it's hard to say. So each one will be its own thing. This kit also came with these four rondelles. Um, and these are another thing that I was able to find yesterday and we put online today. These were extremely limited. There's only like six to eight of each one. So if you wanted more of these, you'd want to get those fairly quickly because they're probably going to sell um, pretty, pretty fast. Let's see what Kimberly has to say. You hit it out of the park again with TGBE. You raise the bar each and every time. Great job, Sarah, and the rest of the team. Thank you. Yeah, it takes a village, um, not just Softlex Company. I mean, we work very hard for it, but all of the other 14 companies do such an amazing job to make it such a special event. So thank you for being there because the only reason we're doing it is that you all keep showing up. So <laughs> we're looking forward to um, November. We released the November dates for the next Great Beat Extravaganza. But even if you, um, even if you haven't joined now, a join because there will be things going on between now and then as well. This kit also came with 10 feet of the dark blue lapis. Um, it will say satin silver because we're out of the per, this particular label. So it may be mislabeled, but it is dark blue lapis. We found the most beautiful blue check glass beads for this kit. Um, they are just gorgeous. They're kind of like a satin finish. Um, and I am really excited to dig into those. We also have real gemstones in this kit. We have a, an eight millimeter, um, eight inch strand of green aventurine in coins. Really pretty. And then we had a knockout findings kit for this or findings bag for this thing. I know, Kim, those leaves. If I can get more of those leaves, will you guys buy them? Because I think I might be able to get more. I may even be able to get them in more than one color. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. So it, all of our kits come with crimps, which is how you attach your clasp or dangle or whatever it is you're doing with your soft flex. And this kit came with some head pins, some basic head pins. It had to undo everything here. It had four ear wires, which those are also on sale. It had two of the cutest little tear cast anchors. I love them. Yeah, give give us thumbs up on the leaves. And remember, I'm gonna give away one of these lakeside kits to someone who is present at the end of the video and uh, who has been commenting, liking, and sharing the video. Thomas will pick someone for me. A great tear cast ring. We do not carry this exact ring, but we have some rings that are similar. They're just hammered. 
Um, but I thought this one worked with the anchors just a little bit better. So that's why I picked this one. And um, we had an Anna's clasp and a lobster clasp. And then we put two little nautical stars in. And this is actually what's missing from the other kit that I'm going to send to whoever the winner is. So I'm going to set these aside and save them for that kit. Um, but they're really lovely too. And they also came from Tierra Cast. Lots of good pieces. So what am I going to make? I feel like making a bracelet and hanging one of these cute little anchors from it. Ooh, and I could maybe use this in the middle of the bracelet. That would be kind of fun. And then I can hang some wire strands off of that. I'm liking it. I'm definitely using the leaves. I am getting a package. So in case you were wondering, the UPS guy just, just arrived. <laughs> I'm sure my package will be safe on my front doorstep until I'm done with the live show though, right? <laughs> Did you hear that? We have um, we have all those, my, my husband's a techie guy. And so we have all those Hey Googles and Alexas throughout the house. So they're always telling me things like, your package just arrived. Yet. Oh, and now I'm setting it off. Do you guys do that too? Do you have these things in your house as well? This kit is perfect for a sailor, Thomas. Thomas used to be a sailor. He was in the Navy. We always think of him when it's Veterans Day. Um, let's see. Oh, these are beautiful colors. Yeah, I'm really digging these leaves a lot. And then these rondelles too. I'm really digging them. I'm thinking this could be, this could be kind of a fun combination, the blue and the green and then the really bright green to make a bracelet. So I'm gonna cut a piece of wire. I'm thinking maybe I'll do a double. Hmm. Think on how I want to do it. I'm wondering what would happen if instead of just wrapping around it, would it be like if I doubled up and went through the center? What would that be like? and then strung it. So it's almost like a knot, um, a knot you might see in like a, you know, think of knots with sailing and stuff. Let's try that and see how it goes. And, oops, sorry. And I need to cut open some more beads here. We have some really pretty beads in this check bead mix too. Let me open that up as well. Yeah, there's some in there that do look like sea glass. I totally, yeah, I totally agree. I'm just trying to see if you have any questions. Can you make a wavy bracelet for the nautical theme? Oh, hmm. I don't know. I wonder what it would be like if I were to string a leaf on both sides here, how that would. So when you've got two wires that are kind of side by side like that can be a little difficult to figure out how to. And is that gonna, it won't come undone once I have all these beads on here and it gets crimped. It'll just keep that kind of knot shape, I think. I've never done that before. Isn't that crazy? I've just never just knotted it and not crimped it to whatever it is I'm connecting to. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna do use something like that. They might flip up, but I think it'll be okay in this particular kind of design. And I'm thinking about, do I want to do the same thing on both sides or do I want to vary it a little? That's kind of my next question here. If I were to vary it a little bit, what would that look like? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I would do a different bead. I kind of like the idea of it being, I wonder if I have enough beads though to do, continue this pattern on four strands. Let's see. And we kind of look at how, oh, it's interesting. So this is how we're looking on our my wrist. Hmm. Let's try, let's do the same pattern a few times and just see how it turns out. And if we don't like it, you know what we can do. I did see some two hole beads in here too. So that's kind of an interesting thing as well. I don't know how many of them I have. Let me see. I have at least two, three. That's the thing about a scoop. Ooh, there's also this two hole bead, which is great. I wonder how many of those I have. Three. Looks like I have just three of those. And then let me see if I have any more of the more iridescent -y color. That's different. So I have two of each, which is probably plenty. Look at this. Oh, I'm going to love this. Ooh, maybe I'll do this first, and that'll kind of bring my two strands back together. We'll see if it works well or not. Oh, those might be too um, too wide for this, but we'll see. We'll see. You never know till you're doing it right. Where is my cranberry serving dish? It's probably in my cabinet. <laughs> in, my, in my cabinet today. I do like to use that sometimes. Huh, I think I'm liking this. Okay, let's keep playing with it and see where it goes. And are we okay with that kind of? Hmm. It might widen up a little bit once we, like this one did, once we've got beads out there. Let's see. Always hard to tell until you've got it all put together. So what I'm playing with here is, am I okay with these beads kind of staggering? And I think I am. I think that's all right. And then are these going to always turn up like that? Because that might bother me. I don't think so. I think they're going to just kind of lay. Once it's on, they'll probably lay really nicely. Especially if I leave a little bit of slack in the design and don't make it too, too tight. Okay, I'm going to repeat this pattern here. What are you guys making today? Are you making today or are you taking a break from work? Or are you just relaxing? What has your day been like?
Yeah. Oh, Brenda, thank you. You're so sweet. Brenda says you're so creative. I just like to play with beads. I really honestly just love to play with beads. Oh, good. Kimberly says the colors are really beautiful together. Thank you. Oh, good. We've got some patina paint. Some people are taking a break. Some people are taking a break from errands to watch and relaxing. Oh, good. I'm glad I can give you a little bit of a break today and we can hang out together. We have just been busy, busy, busy this week um, with all of our live sale orders. And then we had um, all of our GBE orders. So it's been it's been a real busy week for us. Thankfully, that's wonderful. We love a busy week. We also have a brand new employee this week. So that's been kind of exciting for everybody. Um, sadly, we're losing the lady who's done our packaging for 18 years um, in not too long. So that's going to be hard. We're going to miss her. I hope I have enough of these. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I think I'm going to run out. This is the difficulty. If you're trying to remake this, you need an extra strand. I bet two, four, six, eight, Wait, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Oh, definitely not enough to continue that exact pattern. Hmm. I wonder if this is a good place to put in one of these two whole beads. I'm just trying to get to, and that'll help me kind of bring it all together. And then I can just attach to my, my clasp here. All right, let me grab a crimp tube. It's a two by two millimeter crimp tube. They did come in that kit. And Thomas, don't forget, you're going to pick a winner at the end of the live show at random. So be prepared. Someone who has been commenting and liked or shared this video. I'm just going to take one of these wires. So I strung my crimp on both wires. Now I'm going to take one. String it through my toggle clasp, and then I'm going to go back in. I wonder if I'm going to have, let me check again that I have enough. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, great. Before I crimp, once you crimp, you can't go back, and so you always want to make sure. I'm also going to kind of cinch down this knot and push everything up just a little bit to make sure I'm crimping this in a good spot where it's going to hold that knot. The knot's not going to be super loose or wiggly. And I'll bring that down. Now I can go ahead and find my toggle clasp. I'm going to string just one wire through my toggle clasp and then go back into my crimp tube. And one last thing I'm going to check. Always leave enough wiggle room that can wiggle around. One last thing I'm going to check before I close this up. Is it long enough? And it looks like it'll fit really nicely on my wrist. So I'm good. And I'm just gonna grab my magical crimpers here. 
They have a little divot on each side that's identical. I'm gonna go in and center that two by two millimeter crimp tube and compress to create what looks like a little four corner ravioli. <laughs> Take your drink, as we were saying at the great beat extravaganza, turn it on its side and compress again and then just go around and around it. It's been really great seeing what you guys are making with the Lakeside Design Kit in the VIB group. Keep posting pictures of what you make. I think we gave you a month, right? Something like that to post pictures. And then we'll pick a winner at random. And that winner will, um, this reminds me a little bit of like Hawaii in some ways. Um, that winner will get our next kit free. So make sure, um, make sure you are definitely posting pictures of what you make. There we go. I'm going to keep going with this. This is so cute. I love it. I'm going to keep going with the other side. Let's make the other side and then we're going to add on the little anchor. Here, maybe probably on this end because we don't want to mess with that toggle bar. Might even just look for a jump ring to add it if I have one in here. I had some jump rings nearby. It is a closed jump ring though. So maybe we'll use a piece of soft flex. Take a little bit of Flex, string your crimp tube, string your charm, and then I can hang it in a couple places. I could choose down here, or I could choose the loop where the clasp is. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then just circle back into that crimp to create a ring to attach it, like so. Crimp that down. I tried a new color of nail polish today. It's like a coral. It's called coral something or other. And I'm loving it. It's so pretty. Isn't it great? All right. And then I just trim off those wire ends on either side and we've got one end. I think I'll go ahead and do the second half just on my own after the live show and then I'll post a picture of it. Um, that way you don't have to watch me restring all that same stuff again. Um, but I am loving how it's turning out. Let me see what you guys are saying over here. I see Lois is saying she loves the magic crimpers. Awesome. And Beth is saying, where did you get your bead dish? My husband got it for me. I'll post the name of it um, after the live show. He got it for me for Mother's Day. He got me four of them. Um, they're really, really lovely. Karen loves my nail polish. I do too. It's Color Street. So it's those uh, nail polish stickers that you put on. They're really easy to apply and they're really durable. And so I've been using them quite a bit lately. Um, and this color is really pretty. It's like a sparkly coral color. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Kimberly says, oh, Molly, you'll have so much fun and maybe be addicted and collect all of them. Oh, are you talking about getting a kit or all the colors? Definitely so much fun. Oh, Molly uses Color Street too. Yeah, and mess free. Totally. Yes, I do have a very, very thoughtful husband. I'm very lucky in that way. So I'm just kind of looking over to see if there's any questions. If you have any questions, pop them on now, even if you asked already and I missed it. 
um, pop your question in and I will try to um, try to nab it for you. Okay, let's do a pair of earrings too while I have all this stuff out. Let me save my beads. Aren't these great? We have like eight of these in the store, you guys. Only eight that I found yesterday. So if you love this color, it is pretty fantastic for adding that little pop and making your other beads really stand out. Um, I need one of these and I need one of these. And I need two, four, six, eight of these. So I'm gonna set all this aside so that I definitely do not accidentally use it. <laughs> and, then, and then not have enough to finish my, uh, my bracelet because I could see that happening. I really love how this little knot turned out. I'm gonna do that more often. That turned out so cool. Okay, so we do have some of these leaves left that we could use in an earring. They're really pretty. Have at least two per earring if we wanted to. And um, we have some really pretty other things here. Look at this bead in the mix. I love this like beautiful green tone that's in the mix. It's really great. Let's see, do you sell the magical crimpers? And what size crimp bead do you use? We do sell the magical crimpers. We have the Ergo pair available. I'm using the non-Ergo pair today, but the Ergo pair has a softer handle, which is uh, better on your hand when you use them quite a bit. Um, we have those on the website now, but we have a very limited quantity of them because we just sold through a bunch of them during the Great Beat Extravaganza event. So they may sell out in the next day or two. Um, they're 20% off this week, as well as a lot of the stuff you see me using today in our summer vacation collection. It's all 20% off at the on the website. No coupon needed. Uh, just put it in your shopping cart and it'll show a discount. So this is a great time to grab these. Uh, you use these with a two by two millimeter crimp tube. And yes, we have those uh, crimp tubes available as well. Um, let's see, Barbara, I had a magic crimper for at least a year. Thanks to you. Now I use it. I wasn't sure how to crimp. Oh, good. I'm glad you know how to use it. So you had it for a year and then you watched me and figured out how to do it. That's great. Um, Oh, yeah, the spelling of crimpers is sometimes auto-corrected. That's hilarious. <laughs> Did you have any more of the leaf beads on the website? Robin, I was just asking. I think I can get more, but I don't have more right now. But you might win the free lakeside kit if you stick around till the end, and then you would have some. Um, let's see. Any other questions. Brenda says, I'm going to have to start buying larger reels of wire because that's all I use now. Love Softlux wire. That's so good to hear. We love to hear that. It's always a great time to buy beads. <laughs> oh, yes. Neelay is a huge fan of Softlux and he is so wonderful to talk about our wire and tools and crimps and everything. He's one of our, our favorite people. Rosanna says she has two pairs, but she thinks she might need a third. Well, get them while they're on sale, Rosanna, for sure. Okay, let's make let's make a pair of earrings. So I may miss your comments now because I'm going to switch over to my hand camera again and get going. So I want to make something that matches my bracelet. Let's move that in here. Um, so I may want to use some of this beautiful aventurine. Could use some of that if I wanted. Is there another bead from the mix that might be kind of fun? Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, this color is pretty too. It matches the. Hmm. Where is, there's got to be one more of those. 
how it always works with seed mixes, doesn't it? You need just one more. <laughs> I'm certain you're here somewhere. Let's see how this looks on the wire. So I'm going to get a pretty decent length going here. And we'll string this up and see how it looks. This baby blue, this baby blue rondel, and this really soft fluorite, these are all really great, the rondels. They're, they're just super pretty. They're very easy to add to a design. Um, and they're just, they're really, really something else. Let's see. I normally do threes of things, so I'm curious to see how I'm going to feel about these leaves if I have just two of them in the center. I may not. What do you guys think? Should I go down to one leaf? I could do, um, I could stagger it and do a leaf at the bottom and do, maybe I would do something, ooh, maybe I would do this baby blue that I was just saying I'm in love with. Maybe we'll break those open, add one of those to the top. Let's try this. Okay. Oh, good. You like the two. Nice. I'm going to take my crimp tube, my two by two millimeter crimp tube. I'm going to string my leaf and I'm going to come back into my tube. I wonder if I want to do, let's do the middle first, actually. Make it easy on ourselves here. So I'm just going to go straight to the center. This is where I'm going to attach my ear wire. And I'm going to go ahead and crimp. Oh, now this is something that sometimes happens. That is not a four corner ravioli. See how I didn't get it directly in the middle and I only got half of it? I'm going to go back in and I'm going to kind of edge up that side that I missed and make sure that it compresses so that it's a truly has four corners and then I can go around it. So make sure you're paying attention that you get the four corners. And it's important to know even I don't get the crimp every single time. So don't be hard on yourself. Nobody is looking that closely at your crimp that it needs to be absolutely perfect either. Okay. So in this case, I'm gonna string my beads on first. And we'll do the longest one first. So probably like here. String on the leaf. And back into the crimp. And one of the big things here we're going to want to watch for is that this leaf can stay centered comfortably where I'm connecting to it because of the way that it's long across here. If you were to tighten this up too much, it might want to go kind of sideways. So you want it to be comfortably hanging. And then when that happens, you can crimp it. Thank you to everybody who is here and participating. You are entering to win a free gift from me, the Lakeside Design Kit that I opened today, the very last one but you have to be present at the end of the video in order to win it. I wanna see your happy emoticon <laughs> if you're the winner. And then I can do the same thing on the other side. I can either do it shorter 
or I can do it longer. So let's look at it. If it were shorter, it'd be probably like up here. If it were longer, it might be way down here, which is pretty long for me. I think I'd probably want it more up here. Uh, but let's see what's possible. String our beads on. We will have a live sale next Tuesday for Mike Sherman's private collection. I will be posting pictures in the next couple days. I handpicked a tray of his pendants that I think you guys are going to love. And then Rosa has just been very carefully and meticulously going through his things, um, trying to decide what to put into the live sale. So if you have anything from Mike's collection that you've noticed before that you really love, that you think we might still have, you can always email Rosa and let her know. And maybe she'll be able to get it into. I feel like this is just a little too tight to the top. So I'm going to work on kind of finagling it down here a little bit more so that it sits just a little bit more nicely. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to crimp my crimp tube right here and just tighten that crimp down into a little round ball and then come in and trim my wire. So I've got my two strands now with my beautiful little leaves hanging from the top. Sounds like my little guy is ready for a nap, I'm gonna guess, if you can hear him. They've been playing in the little puddle pool outside and I bet he is just exhausted. All right, attaching that. Uh, my, my mother lives with us and she is a saint and she takes care of our kids while we're working. Um, so she's probably gonna go lay him down <laughs> and hopefully he takes a long nap. Yes. Yeah, he is a talker today for sure. Yeah, poor little guy. Okay, he got he had his blood drawn this morning. So he's been a little out of it, I think, from that too. Um, the doctor wanted to take a blood panel. Patty says, I've never tried Softlex until I got the renewal kit and I'm in love. I just finished the lakeside kit and the be kind is next. I can't wait. That's fantastic. Have even thought about buying another one. Well, we're going to have another one available just next week for our uh, customer appreciation week. So if you haven't put it on your calendar, I want you to, and I'll take pictures of these and post them so that you can see them up close. I want you to put our customer appreciation week on your calendar. It's going to be the last week of July. It will be Monday through Friday, and we will have presentations from nine other companies using Softlux Speeding Wire. Next Wednesday, um, most of the companies will be launching kits. And so you can get the kit. You'll have, I think it's about six weeks between then and uh, Customer Appreciation Week. Get the kit. You can beat along uh, if you are able to get one of the kits. Some of them will be limited. Some of them will have more than others. Each business is a little bit different. Um, but some of the companies that are going to be there are Mirix Looms, Design and Adorn will be doing a Kumi Hemo project, which I'm super excited about. Um, we're going to have Andrew Thornton from Allegory Gallery, Abby from The Bead Place, Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique, Neelay from Silver Silk. Um, who am I forgetting? Just Beat It. We're going to have the ladies um, from Just Beat It are coming. And we, I mean, it's just going to be really an amazing, amazing week. Who am I forgetting, Kristen? I know there's at least two more. And I want to make sure that um, make sure that I name all of them. It's going to be so much fun. So we're going to be launching our own kit next week. Between Kristen and I, I think we have four tutorials planned with our kit. 
So it's going to be a lot of fun, some really beautiful colors. Yes, yes, Jamie from the Bead Gallery is going to be with us too. Um, not Brenda. Brenda doesn't sell our wire. So it's it's companies that sell our wire, um, our craft wire or beading wire, and then also use it in their own designs. So that's kind of, it's our, our way to show them appreciation. And then we get to show all of you our appreciation by bringing you this amazing free content and introducing you um, to some brand new projects and ideas using Softlux. It's going to be really, really cool. The week, customer appreciation week is the last week of July. It's going to be a Monday through a Friday, and we're going to have three presentations um, every day. For the most part, there will be an opening and a closing, but then also presentations. Oh, that's nice, Pam, that Candy mentioned us today. We love working with Candy and the Great Beat Extravaganza. You know, we didn't get to work with Candy much um, un until now because she often worked with our competitor brand. Um, but now that she's freelancing, she's all completely on her own and building such a beautiful business. We've been so excited to be able to work with her uh, as a collaborator. And she's just such a, a hoot. I like watching her Saturday morning collage club. I'm a collage clubber. I don't know if any of you are, but I'm I'm there most Saturday mornings. And then I use some of the techniques that she shows with my little girls. And we do um, art journals together. So it's really fun. I've learned a ton from her. She's really, really great. Okay, once again, the dates are the last week of July, Monday through Friday. And I don't know if Kristen's still here, but maybe she can announce those dates. Next Wednesday, we will be um, sending out information for all the kits for uh, the different companies. And we're going to try to compile it probably into a blog post would be my guess. And then we'll put it into an email. And uh, we will have links and try to make it as easy for you guys as possible. And it will be going down in our Softlex VIB Facebook group. So join our VIB group. It will be free content that will stream only to the group, nowhere else. Um, we're not, it's not doubly streaming onto those people's, you know, the collaborators pages or our own Facebook page or even our YouTube. It's all just going into our Facebook group. Um, and it will be a lot, a lot of fun. So I hope you guys will be able to join us. Um, so put next Wednesday, put next Tuesday on your calendar because we have a live sale. Next Wednesday on your calendar because we have a huge kit launch across nine companies. Uh, and most of them will have kits. Maybe not all of them, but most of them will have kits uh, to make it easy. And then the last week of July is really, really important. Okay, so Thomas, who is the winner of our Lakeside design kit that I found in the warehouse yesterday? I'm very excited to see who the winner is. The winner of Sarah's giveaway for Midsummer Market is Beth Ann Witt Anderson. Are you here? Are you here, Beth Ann? Because you have to be present to win. And if you're not here, then uh, we're going to move on and we're going to pick another winner. Um, congratulations if you are here. And don't forget all of our summer vacation collection on our website, softlexcompany.com is 20% off this week. We also do free shipping on orders over $49. In the US, Beth Ann, are you seriously not here? I'm gonna give you just a couple more minutes. I hope you're here. I'll be so sad. Wouldn't it be sad if she had just clicked out before the giveaway? Uh, or maybe she's going to the restroom. <laughs> oh no, there is a delay. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time, and make sure. Um, let's give it a couple more minutes. 
Yes, I'm going to give her a few minutes, Kristen. Don't worry, but stick around because if she's not here, Thomas is going to pick. Mary Ann says she fainted with delight. <laughs> oh, no. Pam says you take your phone or your iPad with you to the restroom. <laughs> There she is. Yay. Congratulations, Beth Ann. I'm so glad you're here. You win our Lakeside uh, Design Kit. So if you could uh, private message Softlex Company, or maybe Thomas can message you. Either way, get connected so that we can make sure we have your address and we can ship that out to you. Um, it will probably ship Friday because I'm going to bring one of these um, charms, which it was missing, uh, to the office tomorrow. And then we'll get it all put together and wrapped up for you and get it sent out. So congratulations. And thanks, everyone, for being here. Get those dates marked on your calendar. Uh, take advantage of our 20% off discount, which is on a lot of different items that we, we've used in the Great Beat Extravaganza in the last couple of iterations, um, including the Duo, the Yellow and Gray Check Glass Bead Mix. We only have like two of those left. They're in that category. The Rondelles that I showed today, um, the Bead Mix that I showed today, those are all 20% off. And then much, much more. There's two pages, so make sure you click through. Yes, Bethann, I see you. I hope you can hear me. I see you, and you are good. Let me. I see you. <laughs> so I know there's a little bit of a delay, but we see you. Yes, you are officially the winner. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, and if you loved this Lakeside kit and you didn't win it, we don't have any more, but we do have a beautiful Be Kind design kit, which has several gorgeous components in it. Um, this is a really lovely kit, too. So you can find this on our website as well and uh, under kits, and it's $32.95, and it will have a mixture of beads and findings and um, all of the different components you need to make jewelry short of uh, some tools. So just some basic tools and the kit, even if you've never beaded before, you can come bead with me. On the last Wednesday of the month, I'll be opening it and making something with it. Awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at this. Beth Ann says, I'm so happy. I'm crying. Oh, that's so nice to hear. I'm so happy for you. I love giving stuff away. Um, speaking of, don't miss that giveaway in the Great Beat Extravaganza with the huge giveaway with all the presenters. And then don't miss our Instagram giveaway. Look for the Instagram post about it. Follow the directions. Uh, you, you comment with three of your friends' names in order to enter to win. We're giving away $25 uh, store credits there. And the more who enter, the more credits we'll give away. You're very welcome. Oh, good. Patty Ann says that the Be Kind was very, Be Kind is awesome. And Beth Ann is going to check it out. Awesome. So thank you for being here with me today. You can shop on our website. It is Softlex uh, Company. Dot com, and uh, I will see you again next Tuesday for our live sale from Mike Sherman's private collection. Um, and that will be at 12 p.m. Pacific time, only on Facebook, on the Softbox Company Facebook page only. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great week.